Hello, Zelda tubers, and welcome back to Let's Play Zelda 2 with me, Blue Anko. And welcome to the fifth dungeon, the green one. Still nothing. One of these days we're going to get an iron knuckle to come out of that and attack us. So, welcome back, and we're off to another dungeon. Hmm. This one is a little bit unique. Um, a couple new enemies that aren't in any other games. Um, I think I remembered what these snake things are called. I believe they're called ropes. Just like a rope. Um, a rope that you would swing on or something. I don't know. Uh, and I think traditionally I said there was one. No, oh, there was not. Usually, maybe not every time, but uh, like I showed in an old video, um, there's often a, um, a red potion there. But I guess not every time. Um, these guys shouldn't be that hard anymore, the bubbles. Now that we've got six attack power here, yeah, doesn't take too long. Mm. Now, how do you get up there? That's even too high to jump. So this is kind of your uh, hope you learned your fairy spell location. Because, um, well, no, I guess there was one before too, right? Never mind. Um, you couldn't have got into level three either. And then if you couldn't get to level three, you wouldn't have the raft and you couldn't get across the ocean and yeah. So anyway, it just waste a little bit of your magic. <laughs> um, if you haven't noticed, most enemies can't hurt you for like half a second after you hit them, so that's kind of why I wasn't taking damage from the bubble. Also, if you can get it timed right, it is very nice to just be able to bounce off their head, but it doesn't always work. Um, oh well, I'll just kill a couple more because we're kind of at the point in the game where levels up take a really long time, and... It's just a little bit difficult. Oh, this is not very nice. Floating heads on a disappearing floor. Uh, at least you cut your down thrust so you can get that easily enough. Much harder when you have to stop and stab it. <laughs> Alright, so what do we get here? Another iron knuckle. Okay. Obviously my little cheap jump thing is not very effective. Um, if you're fighting these and having a hard time... Well, that was cool. A double... Double drop, I didn't think that would happen. Um, what am I trying to do? This one. Uh, if you're trying to fight Iron Knuckles yourself and having a hard time, mostly just watch for their sword, and then wherever their sword's going, um, make sure your shield's in the correct place to block it. Keep attacking as much as you can, and try to get to where their shield is not, but he will follow your up and downs with his shield pretty quickly. Oh, well, that was silly. Um, can't remember what these guys are called. Pig wizards or something? They're really hard to hit, actually. You have to have them appear right in front of you, and then you can only get them, like, once. Um, yeah, there's no way I could have hit that guy, so I just want to kill one, just to show you. Uh, I guess if you use the fire spell on your sword, um, you might be able to shoot a fireball at them. I'm not sure how good that works, but there you go. 200 experience. So you get a lot for killing them. It's really nice. Um, anyway, if you're fighting Iron Knuckles, like I was saying, just... Try to be patient, just like those axe guys that you have to jump over. Um, same kind of idea. Because uh, I know uh, a lot of people have trouble with iron knuckles. Again, nothing. Now in this dungeon, there is a couple secret walls that you can jump through, so keep your eyes out for that. If you don't know about that, well, it's kind of traditional at this point in the series. The first Zelda game has that, or at least... Uh, if you play the second mission of Zelda 1, uh, there's definitely <laughs> walls you have to walk through or else you don't even finish the level. So, All those hard, hard-earned hard tricks you learned as a kid uh, continue to help you out. Okay, I'd like to kill this guy. 200 experience is pretty nice. Woohoo, I got him twice. That doesn't happen all that often. Uh, too far away. No point even trying. There we go. So they take three hits, I guess. That's not too bad. As long as you keep getting your sword attack power up, it's not so bad. Ah, there's a key up there. How will you get that? Well, this is one of those mandatory, you have to sit around and wait for a little bit parts, unfortunately. Um, the only thing that makes it easier is casting jump, which I'll cast just to save a little bit of time. But unfortunately, I do need these blocks to fall down. I need them at least as high as I'm jumping, and then that'll save me a little bit of time. 
Do, do, do. So you just get to listen to the music for a little bit here. Actually, if I'm really quick, woohoo! Didn't even have to break one. And you can actually jump up here, but uh, you get hit by blocks. <laughs> so anyway, that's how you can do that level if you'd like. And orange one. Those guys will eventually go down in one hit, so that's kind of fun. Woohoo! And we got another one of those, so... It's good to stay topped up as best you can. And I might as well cast shield, because we would have just wasted uh, a bit of magic if we hadn't done that. There we go. Orange guys. I like killing orange guys now. They're kind of slow and they're easy to kill. Orange iron knuckles. Alright, so we're on to the second area like this. I don't know what you call it. Actually, you know what? I'll try. I, I'm actually not even sure if this works, so I'll try. Oops, well that wasn't so smart. That was not as smart. No, they're immune to fire. <laughs> Should have figured the guys that throw fireballs at you are immune to fire. Woohoo, three hits! Ah, I don't know if I've ever done that before. Well. So when all else fails, fire doesn't always work. Remember that guy that told us that trick? Come on, get over here. I'm not actually sure. Probably no spells will help you then. Uh, anyway, okay. I think I want to go right first. Um, the reason I was killing those wizards is um, they won't respawn. Um, they're just like the... Uh... Okay, this is a bad room. Um, and the reason it's very bad is both these things and the blocks that you can break. Oh boy. If you down thrust... Okay, this is, this is a bad position to be in. Okay, so, sorry about that. Um, those guys can knock you off, obviously. <laughs> and they don't give you much time to move. I'm probably not supposed to go this way, actually. Or at least I don't remember doing this room very often. But I'm showing you guys, for the sakes of the YouTubes, just what it's like to go through some of those levels. Whew, that was tough. Now, I think, unfortunately, there's actually nothing over this way. Um, but anyway, if you down thrust on those blocks, you'll die. And if you get knocked off, you'll die. So, lots of stuff to worry about in that kind of room. Oh, and a blue iron knuckle. Okay. Let's see how we're doing. One hit. Ah. I guess it's generally a good idea to use that when you're fighting these guys. Two. Ah. He just throws so fast, it's hard to dodge them all. Ah. Come on, get him. Four, is that four or five? Oh boy, I'm not doing so good. There we go, five hits. And you can see a key through there, but you actually have to come at it from the other side, if I remember correctly. So unfortunately, this direction was a waste of time. Um, I'm gonna kill this bubble though, and maybe he'll drop me a mana potion or something, because I need a heal spell. Nope, he won't. Well, that's too bad. All right, well, the good thing is the Iron Knuckles shouldn't come back. Um, uh, uh oh. Uh, okay, keep going, keep going, keep moving. Whew, all right, survived. So uh, hopefully we won't have any more rooms like that. Uh, I wish I'd saved my magic. I could have cast heal with a little bit more. You need three blocks and a little sliver extra on top to cast heal, or er, life. Uh, 50 MP is, if it's 16 per block, it's 48 plus 2, so it's just a teeny little sliver. Alright, I'm going to try to kill this guy still. Uh, not that time, though. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, this dungeon's pretty tough. Um, although it's not as tough if you skip that room that I just did. <laughs> if you go the other way instead, this way, the left direction, um, that will save you a lot of trouble. <laughs> Although you won't get as much experience, so if you're trying to get lots of levels up, you know... Ah, I didn't make it in time. Yeah, these guys are kind of... Kind of a pain to hit. Definitely a pain, but one more should go down. Um, Alright. Woo! Uh, the higher your attack power, I think... You know, I think, I, I think they get down to two hits each. And then it's a lot easier to kill them. Alright, I'll just kill a couple more bubbles here, you know. No big deal. Oh, I see, uh, waste some more magic. Alright, getting the timing for the down thrust bouncing thing just takes a little bit of practice too sometimes. Um, if you hit an enemy on your way up, 
it doesn't bounce. Ah, watch out. Um, if you hit an enemy on your way up, um, you kind of bounce through them so you don't get that down jump up thing effect, which is what you really want if you're trying to bounce on an enemy's head. Alright, I can't remember if I was supposed to go down there or left here. This dungeon, this level's a little bit mazy, mazier than normal. Oh, thank goodness, that's exactly what I needed. Uh, that one. And again, actually. Yeah, not bad. Now we've got life at least. Now I believe, actually, the way... Um, oh, come on. Most of the... <laughs> most of the dungeons have the boss kind of in the, um... Well, that was not very lucky for me. Have the boss in kind of the bottom left area. This one's actually the top left, if I remember correctly. But I will take that. Ah, he still got me. Took a lot of magic damage that time, too. There might... You know, actually, you know, I mentioned, um... Ah! <laughs> Grr. I mentioned that the bubbles can do magic damage as well as life damage. I actually have a feeling um, there's two different types, because I've been kind of paying attention this playthrough. And, um... Well, that would be nice to have. 50 MP, that's sad. <laughs> Some of them seem to do magic damage, whereas some seem to do normal life damage. So, um... Maybe that's the difference. I don't know which different, which rooms or which bubbles... Oh, okay, almost got one. I don't know which ones are which. I don't know if there's a visual difference, or if I'm just crazy. Woohoo! Now, what do I want to use my magic for? Well, or my level up. Um... I'd really like that attack power one, actually. So I'm going to save up for 5,000, I think, because it shouldn't take too long. Um, at this point in the game, I really like attack power. <laughs> Not too worried about magic. Um, like I said before, jump will get cheaper, life is as cheap as it gets, fairy is as cheap as it gets, fire is as cheap as it gets, reflect will go a bit lower. So it's not a huge deal to keep upgrading your magic level, but killing stuff faster always helps. Also, taking less damage always helps too, but... Ah, there's a guy way up there. Um, I guess I kind of messed up. Oh, another one of these. At least there's a key here. Come on, get him. Got him. Get him. Yes, that's how you do it. Uh, I'm still going to save up, although life 8 would be nice, that's the highest defense you'll get in the game. But uh, I'll take attack for now. Bouncing on the roof. <laughs> uh, I wouldn't mind killing that guy. Maybe on this side I'll go get him. If you do it just like that, you can jump up. Okay, you can jump up. You're only three blocks high on your jump for just a second, so it's... It's a little bit touchy. Anyway, there we go. Look at our massive amounts of experience. I hope... Oh, I don't even have another life. This is actually kind of silly of me. <laughs> Not the smartest time to be banking experience when you don't have a, a free life to go with. <laughs> Learn from my mistakes, viewers. Don't do what I do. <laughs> yeah, this, this dungeon's gonna go a little bit longer than some dungeons. Come on, give me a... Still nothing. Um, let's see, where do we go next? We got, how many keys have we got? We got one key, we haven't gone up yet, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the way to the boss, and I'm pretty sure we're gonna need another key as well. Uh, I'd like to kill that guy too, but I don't know, he might not jump down, I'd have to cast a spell to get up there and... Well, I don't have a lot of magic right now to waste on jump spells. Alright, 50 more experience. You can, um, the way the game is, oh, that's cool, <laughs> double bubble killing, ah, then that one got away, I might as well kill it though, because it's almost dead, kill with upstab, yeah, I haven't used that very much, have I, um, I'm pretty sure I'm going to need another key, so I have to go down this way, yeah, th I, that's right, I have to go this way first, ah, uh, boy, that's going to be a little bit tough to get through without getting hit, there's a key, so I absolutely have to go up there, but it's possible. Oh boy, I'm getting that too many sprites problem again. 
I don't know how that will display on YouTube, but if there's too many sprites, ouch. Actually, I guess I have lots of life, so I'm not too scared. I just don't have any magic left. Um, if there's too many sprites on the screen, the NES, you know, had trouble with it. It's a traditional old game thing. Super Nintendo did the same thing. Not every game had it, but, you know, when the developers got exciting and put a whole bunch of cool stuff in the game, sometimes the system couldn't quite handle it. Oh, so close. Uh, so let's see, where else? Just keep going down. So we haven't been on this floor at all. So there should be some more stuff to the right, maybe. There was that key all the way around that we never did get, remember? Um, do you remember? <laughs> okay, watch out for the fire. Keep killing the bubble. No! Okay, that bubble took a lot of hits. I thought it would die faster. <laughs> ah, okay. Now I definitely want to kill this guy because I'm very, very close to a level up and I should be able to kill this guy without taking any hits. But you remember, um, sorry, I keep interrupting my my thinking. There was that key on the other side of the wall after we made it through that tough lava area. Oh, this is it, this is the guy. Oh, and of course there's a bubble. The bubble would do too, but... Um, keep interrupting myself. <laughs> um, oh no, that was not very lucky. Um, okay, that's too far away. Oh, you cheapskate, that's really cheap. Um, <laughs> what am I saying? Anyway, hopefully you saw that key on the other side of the room that we couldn't walk through. And we're, I think we have to go get that, actually. Ah. Okay, I said I should be able to make it through this without dying, and now I'm... Oh! Not cool. That was... They keep doing that. I gotta better keep moving, I guess. Oh, now there's two bubbles. Alright, well... I thought this room would be fairly easy to get some... Oh, okay. They really like showing up behind me today. Oh, sorry guys. All right, all right, whew. Although almost should take that just to survive, but this is what I really want. <laughs> all right, now I do more damage. Uh, do I want to kill this guy? I do want to kill this guy. I probably already hit him once. Ooh, okay, good. That was a little bit close. Too close for comfort. I'm not in a very good position right now because there's probably going to be a blue iron knuckle. Oh boy. Just gotta do it perfectly. Ah, not perfect. Okay, whew. And this is the wall you can walk through, like I was mentioning before, so. Oh boy, this is not good. So don't stand still. That's what I learned from the first one, or the last room. I apologize for the incessant beeping. Ah, not good timing. No, not good timing. I don't, I don't feel it. I could really use a red potion right now. I don't know if these guys can drop them or not, but that would be that would be super. Okay, one hit. I think they might take two hits now if I'm lucky. So that will save us a little bit of time. Hop, hop, skip, and dodge. That's what I'm doing. Yeah, this video is getting a little bit long again. Uh, all right, two hits. Yeah, that's better. All right, what next? Another one. Uh, okay. Oh, no, 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 no. Crumb. Well, <laughs> no one said this game was easy. Um, I guess I should have saved it, actually, technically speaking. It doesn't make any difference. Uh, anyway, I'll end this video up. This, this Wrap this video up. Um, yeah, this game's tough. This game's not easy. But at least we got that sorted up. <laughs> not a total waste of time. So, thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. Uh, this time, I'll definitely skip back to the dungeon. So, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching.